Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Edouard, and this is Pierre We are both French students from Schema Business School, and we decided to go study in China, in Suzhou, for our final year. And while people are flying from France to China on a regular basis, we decided to discover the whole world in between by bicycle. This 8,000 km ride enlightened us, and we're going to speak about one specific aspect of our trip. What is this? This little ribbon comes from Turkey. Back there, people call it to test me. Most people use it for brain purpose. Others move its ball to relax and have focus. This ribbon is one of the most cherished memory I keep from my bicycle ride from France to China. It was offered to us by Abu Setar, a young Turkish man that we met and talked with during only a couple of hours. He wanted us to keep a good memory of his country and spread the word that it was a safe place to go to. This piece of jewelry changes everything we've been told and taught about strangers. During our childhood, we have been told hundreds of times, be careful, that is dangerous, do not speak to strangers. And even when we told our families and friends about the back trip, they were afraid. Will you cross dangerous region? What if you crash in the middle of nowhere? What if someone robs you during the night? You don't want to consider all these situations, otherwise you will never go out of your house. And keep in mind that a bed is the most dangerous place on earth. Indeed, most people die in their bed. <laughs> so, we got to the point where we asked ourselves, why so much emphasis on danger and stranger? Why so much reluctance towards people and others? Do you easily speak to strangers? How often do you help someone that you don't know? Believing that stranger equals danger is a very short-sighted mindset. Remember that at the very beginning, every one of your friends, they were complete strangers to you. It means that you have a lot to benefit from meeting and sharing with strangers. And the greatness of this situation is that you don't know how richful it's going to be until it actually happens. So let me introduce you to such great stories. By the end of February 2016, we'd been on the road for about a month. We are now in the middle of Hungary. Hungary is located in Eastern Europe. And as you may expect it, the weather there in winter is quite cold. We find a small Hungarian village and set up the tent for the night. We spend there the coldest night on this trip. When we woke up the day after, there was still ice on the tent. But still, we prepare our regular breakfast made of a hot cup of tea and some bread. By the time we finished eating, a Hungarian man pops up. He was bringing us two sandwiches and a hot beverage. Well, turns out the hot beverage contained alcohol, but we think that it was from a good intention to help us warm up. The man pulls down two cups and leaves us alone. When he came back, he even offered us to go to his house to take a hot shower because he knew that we'd spend the night outside. This is the kind of moment when you deeply feel grateful. That morning, this man not only warmed our bodies, but also our hearts. He saw us on his way to work, and within a minute decided to go back home and prepare some food and drinks. Now imagine the countryside of Serbia, beginning of March, temperature like 5 degrees. He doesn't speak Serbian, I don't speak Serbian, and we are looking for a place to set the tent. The area is hilly, so the only place where we can find flat ground is in the gardens. So we start asking people, and Yelena understood our request. She made herself very clear that she wouldn't allow us to sleep outside, because it was freezing. Even if we couldn't understand her language, her body language was very clear, and she invited us in. She offered us a lot of food, a hot shower, and a warm bed. The day after, when we left, she almost cried. But nice stories also happen in China. During our first days in China, we once had a puncture along the highway. Nothing to worry about, except the fact that we had no spare tubes. At the time we figured this out, a heavy rain starts, making it almost impossible to fix the tire properly. And suddenly, one Chinese guy almost blew his tire to stop by us did not even ask about the problem and told us to put everything in his van. And very simply, without talking too much, because we're not that good at Chinese, 
he drove us to the next big city, which was 40 kilometers away. Two days after crossing the Chinese borders, we also got to meet this Chinese teenager who studied English. But the thing is that he had never been able to speak English. In fact, we were the first strangers he'd ever met. So the three of us just sat down and practiced English for about an hour. <laughs> this short story might seem a bit odd to you, but the smile on his face was totally worth it. And it's something that you don't want to forget. In a way, we could reassure him that he had the right language skills and that he could continue on this path. There is also this lunch break about how we got to play soccer with Bulgarian kids. <coughs> so after morning ride, we stopped by a small village to rest under a shining sun. While we were eating our sandwiches, a bunch of children just got around us and started to play football. Within five minutes, they asked us to join in. So we played for a while and we had to stop because the afternoon classes were beginning. And when we left them on our bicycle, the whole school was waving at us, crying and shouting and running by our sides. These are very simple and ordinary moments that both of us will never forget. Because these moments are simple and full of joy and smiles. These are stories that we lived almost on a weekly basis. And I am confident to say that it didn't mean much to those who helped us, because they thought that they were just doing the right thing. But to us, it meant the whole world. This move they made toward us will remain forever. So, you might say that we got lucky, and maybe we were. But we are here to say that such people exist. Those persons taught us a lesson and influenced our behavior for the better. We are now more willing to spread, to spread this sort of kindness around us. So, do not be afraid of strangers. Help them. Help them in a very simple way, as it might mean a lot. And we are here because we want you to show pure generosity and pure kindness towards people, and especially towards strangers, because we believe that where the best stories come from. So, what are you going to change about this? Thank you. Thank you.